do you think he knew more than he shared with oh, the American public? Absolutely. He knows a lot more. Uh, he doesn't have that many facts. It's still being investigated, but he knows a lot more. They will know a great deal about the bombs themselves, about the method of attack, how they were set off, what kind of timers or detonators were used. So that will all be known to him. And it's just play, it's not useful for them to release it to the general public. The people in the media and the general public would like to hear it, but there's no operational necessity to do it uh, while there's an active investigation and, frankly, still an active security situation. I mean, there's presumably someone at large who did this once and they can do it again. And that's the mindset you bring to these jobs. He came out and talked to people because he has to do that because he's president. And if he doesn't do it by 4 o'clock, people will say, well, where's President Obama? He just did it because he has to do that. The president seemed to be treading a very fine line on the subject of terrorism, Richard. His direct quote, I'll quote from the president's remarks, this was a heinous and cowardly act. And given what we know now, what took place, the FBI is investigating as an act of terrorism. Any time bombs are used to target innocent civilians, it's an act of terror. So he seems to be saying it both ways at the same time. Well, he's a lawyer. He's very careful. Um, and in fact, the legal definition of terrorism under the criminal statutes has something to do with the intent of the person who carried it out. So since they don't know who carried it out and they don't know their intent, they're not certain it can be criminal terrorism charges. Now, what else? What else? I mean, let's let's just explore the possibilities yeah. here. What else could it be? Uh, so I mean, I look a less cautious president would just go ahead and say it. this is domestic. This is terrorism, domestic, international. We don't know that yet. Right. But they'll just go ahead and say it. He's being very cautious because there, in fact, are a range of criminal statutes related to the use of explosives that are just charged under different elements of the U.S. Code and that carry different penalties and different standards of proof. But this is going to be terrorism in the end. They're just There's being, no possibility they're, that they're right. just could being have been a little careful. Some lone rogue targeting some individual, for example. You know, they, they're, they're trained to wait till the facts speak for themselves and not to jump to conclusions and there's no need for him to do it like when they arrest the person there'll be another press conference and then he can do it they're, they're going to want to feed the media's demand for uh, comment from as the carefully president as, they can. Uh, as carefully as they can but over a long period of time right so what we don't know uh, either is whether it was an act of domestic terror or foreign terror how take us through the investigation right now how do they take what they know about the bombs to try to figure out the answer to that question okay I mean it's a really complicated process with a truly massive amount of information which uh, the initial information is brought in and it will be of many different varieties it will be interviews of witnesses random call-ins forensic analysis a video analysis social media analysis and they will be trying to sift through that in the first stage to figure out which of these are what, are, what they call actionable leads, things which then need to be pursued further. And then what they will do is for each lead, they will assign it to a t part of a task force, a detective or an investigator, a super a special agent from the FBI, who then goes and investigates it. And if it's productive, more resources are brought to that thread in the investigation, and it is further pursued wherever the lead takes them. Richard, you said something a moment ago that, that piqued my interest, this idea that they need to manage the flow of information to the media and to the general public. How much stagecraft is involved here? Oh, a lot. I mean, this, and in fact, most of what the president has to do right now is about communication to the public. There aren't that many decisions that could possibly be, involve him at this point. So he needs to stay briefed, and the American people expect the commander-in-chief to be involved and engaged and to address these issues. And they, he can't go silent for extended periods of time. If, for instance, he called it today an act of terrorism, we've been attacked, we're under attack, this sort of extremist rhetoric, which he's carefully avoided, then what would happen is by nightfall, by the evening news, or the next time he appears, people would say, well, Mr. President, yesterday you said it was an act of terrorism. Are you doing nothing? Right. How come you haven't done anything? Instead, he's being very careful and saying, it's an ongoing investigation. We're pursuing all the reads, all the resources they need. We will update you as we have more to tell you.